Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're going to make some DIY photo boards. Let's do this real quick. Now, what's a photo board? It's pretty much something like this table. It's a piece of wood or a couple pieces of wood that I'm going to join together at some point. But basically, I'm looking for wood with texture and stuff like that or a nice finish, whatever it might be, to use it as technically a backdrop for product photography. And you can make a photo board a million different ways. You can sand them down, make them look really nice. You can distress them, you can paint them, you can stain them. Whatever you wanna do, you can get creative and you can make a bunch of them. But we're gonna keep it simple today because it's cold outside. So let's get to it. Now this stuff has been out here forever. Definitely has some character, it'll work. So there's not too much we have to do to this stuff. And since there's a top and a bottom to it, you could leave one side kind of finished and the other side kind of rough. It's up to you if you wanna keep nails in here. I'm going to, but I'm not going to, because I want to sand one side. So we'll see what I can do in a minute in getting, well, half of the nail out, so that just a nail head is in there. Yeah, okay, let's get to it. have some of these cut up there's a couple different ways you can use them and such I'm gonna be careful because uh, I didn't really sand down the nails that are in them and I don't want to scratch my table but you kind of get the point here where well you throw something on here you take a picture and now this is pretty much gonna be a rustic look but you could also do different things where you know if you stand it up on end and stuff like that you start to make a box put up you know get creative whatever you want to do you can use these any way you like and and make make your I'm, I need a coffee let's just get to it and make take a picture And just like that we're done you could have a lot of fun doing stuff like this especially if you're into photography I was gonna use that as my thumbnail for this video but I think I'm gonna use this for the thumbnail for the uh, how to get a good exposure video the one I put up the other day so I need to take another picture um, let's see here yeah maybe we'll use this that, that makes sense right I think uh, I think I can Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna work. That'll be awesome. All right, um, you can see it right now, put it that way. Okay, so <laughs> it turned out pretty cool. That was actually really fun to go ahead and shoot <laughs> this little watch. I mean, I added some screws that I, you know, like the little eyeglass repair kits you get I just added those screws and that screwdriver it didn't even go with the watch but it added it, you're pretty much trying to tell a story and it just added to the story for that so I'm gonna use that as a thumbnail for this video so you would already have seen it without even watching the video anyways I'm rambling and I'm gonna have more fun playing with this stuff and I'm gonna make a couple different boards so I get a couple different variations of this and uh, I'll see you on the next one <laughs> this was a little scattered at the end here. I actually had to re-record it because I, oh, uh, well, I better check my mic now. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay, because I didn't have the mic. I had it turned down to like minus 10 dB instead of plus 20 dB. And, and, anyways, I'm rambling again. I'll see you on the next one. Really, on the next one. <laughs>